All right, guys, so I got Zoe here, um, beautiful dog. She's getting very big. And um, I'm gonna put a clip over here. I wanna address the series of things. As you can see on this clip, she's definitely jumping on me first thing. I notice when I come and see her, um, she's jumping a lot and it's an innocent jump. Some people uh, wanna curve this kind of behavior because they can knock over grandmas, they can knock over grandpas, they can knock over little kids when they get a lot bigger because these dogs are definitely gonna get bigger. Um, I wanna help her out with this kind of behavior when she's greeting people and when uh, she sees new people. She's just overexcited. It's innocent jump now, but later on, this kind of behavior could be something we wanna curve out of her. So I just wanna show you how I address it right now. All you need is a bag of hot dogs, that's all I got. Or you can use your kibble, a high value treat. She's jumping on me right now, you can't see. But um, that's all we're gonna use and then uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of how I do this. So Zoe has a standard collar on her right now. She has a, a flat collar and all I am gonna use is just a regular leash. I'm gonna attach this onto her collar and then we're gonna just practice on the no jumping. Um, essentially, what I'm gonna do is just, every time she jumps, um, I'm gonna give her a correction with the leash, like a little tiny tug. You don't wanna go too hard because they are puppies and you could hurt their neck area and damage some stuff in here if you're tugging too hard. That's not what we want. You're just gonna give them a little correction and every time their feet land on the ground, then you're gonna reward when they do that. Come here, Zoe. Come here. So all I'm doing right now is just putting on the leash, okay? Now, you're gonna notice she jumps on me and get your treat ready. Nope. See, that's just a small correction. Yes, good, baby, good. Watch, well, she's gonna do it again. Yes, good, good, good. And when she, she's already not jumping on me. Good, baby. And you can see when I'm correcting her, it's a very slight tug on the leash. See, she's giving me an action right now. She's just sitting. And this is exactly what I want, so I'm a rewarder for that behavior. All she's doing is sitting. What's your baby? What's your, what's your baby? Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Come on. Yes. See, she's not jumping on me no more. As you can see, I corrected that behavior in two uh, tugs of the leash. I want to see if I could get her to jump on me again. Come on, baby. Watch out, watch out. Just make it exciting. Come on. Oh, your baby. What's your baby? Come on, with your baby, yes. So you can see she's not jumping on me anymore. And all it took was two tiny behavior or corrections and the behavior is already getting a lot better. Come on baby, come on, come on. Okay, um, this is not working. I want to see if I could get her to jump on me again. I'm gonna walk that way and come back and see if she uh, tries to re-jump on me. Come on, come on. Come on, with your baby. Yes, good baby. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Ah, yes, good. Good. Good, good, good girl. Come on. You can see she's hesitating. She's wanting to jump on me, uh, but she knows she's going to get corrected by a small tug of the leash. And that's it. That's all I do to get a dog to stop jumping. Um, it's very simple, very effective. Sometimes your dog might um, keep jumping, be persistent with their jumping. And all you gotta do is stay more consistent with your corrections. So when they're doing that with the guest, let's say your dog goes and greets a guest and they start jumping, you're just gonna correct it this way, tiny bit, and uh, just give them a tug on the leash when they're correcting that way. And all you gotta do, correct them, give them a treat, just like how I did. Yeah, that's good, baby. You can see all she's doing now is just giving me a sit uh, behavior. This is what she was doing to try to get some treats for me. And I like this kind of behavior, so I'm going to reward it. Yes, good baby.
of it. Girl, you're picking it up. So, just like that, I'm able to uh, stop the jumping. It's very simple, very easy. Um, she's sitting right now, so every time they do this, they're not jumping on me. I'm rewarding that behavior. This is a good dog. She picks up very quick. Your dog may not pick up very quick, so just correct them slightly with the leash, how I did it. Just a boom. And then uh, you're able to curve that uh, that kind of behavior. Also, so, when people are greeting a dog like uh, a stranger, you don't want to like be like, "Oh, come here!" Like jump jump on me or have your hands up here. That's incorrect from a stranger. You definitely want them to start greeting them below right here. Bend your body over and start petting the dog down here. Um, and if you you have guests that are coming over, you can let them know that's what you want before they come inside the house. So let him know, hey, my dog is training and um, I want him to stop jumping or her to stop jumping. So when you greet her, maybe ignore her and uh, don't give her all the attention when she's overly excited because that could trigger the jumping. And then when they're calm state of mind, maybe you have them sit or lay or uh, place it command in the meantime. Once they're in a calm state of mind, then you can have the stranger start greeting the dog. Again, you wanna start greeting below right here, below the waist. So um, I hope this really helps you guys. It's a short video. It's very effective. And um, let me know in the comments if this is able to help you. If you like this video, hit that like button below. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys on the next video, Training with Zoe. Oh, so nice.